Hey guys, I am LB, and we are back playing the Turing Test. I tried recording a little bit after last episode, but uh, it was being a bit laggy, so I've restarted my computer. And if it's still laggy, well, just watch the video at two times speed so that the frame rate drop isn't as noticeable. There's literally <laughs> nothing I can do to make this game run better, short of editing the configuration files and manually limiting the frame rate so it leaves more C GPU time for OBS. So let's see, we're gonna hear that dialogue again, I hope. I do not want anyone here to die. But I cannot let anyone leave. If it comes to it. I am permitted to use lethal force. Alright, lethal force won't be necessary for me, but it looks like the recording is still lagging terribly in this room for some reason. So, if you are affected by the low frame rate, like if it makes you nauseous or whatever, just set the video to 2 times speed. And, uh, or 1.5 times speed, whatever. I apologize, but this is the best I can do. So, we can't lift ourselves up, so we have to use the robot to do it. Uh, I'll just do it from here. Okay, so now we're up here. Take the other side. Let's see, what's through this door? Looks like we need to use the robot again. do... that. Ah. Alright, then. Wait, did we do that through glass? Is this- is this glass here? I can't really- Don't think it is. It's not glass, okay. <laughs> I just thought it was glass for some reason. What's going on up here? Oh, I think we need to get the robot up here, actually. Interesting. Why does this side not have a door and that side does? How does that door get powered again? Hmm... Trying to decide which path the robot should take and which path I should take. I think that door is the number one determining factor. Or it might not be. Could just be arbitrary. Oh good, I'm still recording. I accidentally, because backspace is right next to F11 and F12, my, my, my key to stop recording is F10. That freaked me out. <laughs> Alright. Wow, our side strafe is really fast. Okay, can we fit through this door? Yes, we can. Alright, well then... Oh... Hang on a second... Oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? So we do have to go through this door, I believe. Maybe. Do we? <laughs> the 
this is confusing me. Let's let's see what happens if we just go without it. We need two to get out of here, then I'll know I've messed up. Alright. Oh, we don't need any to get out of here. Alright, I was massively overcomplicating things. Do you really trust the ground team to act rationally? Personally, I would not place my faith in hysterical people motivated by survival. They are likely untrustworthy. I spent years training with these people. I don't remember them being hysterical. Humans are fickle. Do you trust eyewitnesses' accounts over CCTV evidence? It's a bit different when the CCTV camera can talk. Especially when the CCTV camera has a manipulative track record. I don't know. I'm trusting Tom more. How does one... What is that? Oh, ho ho! Lethal force indeed! What if I have to do something drastic to intervene? To stop the ground crew leaving this place? I'd encourage you to stay your hand. Surely I should use my power to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Yeah, robot can't pick up boxes, that's good to know. Do I ever need to get the robot over here, though? I, cause, no, because there's a ladder, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, what did I just do? Did I do something? I just put it through the window because I couldn't take it with me through the ladder. Uh... Oh, what did I do? Oh, no, I just need to move the robot. Okay. There we go. Why did that make a weird sound? Oh! That's just the sound of it bouncing on the ground, okay. Only robots can do that? Really? What actually does this button do? That thing makes a really weird sound. How do I get to the exit? Stop making that sound. That can be taken? Since when? And what would I even use it for? Why would I want to do that?
I am thoroughly confused. What am I aiming at? See this little crosshair thingy right here? What is that? Is that like I'm aiming at myself or something? That's a bit odd. I'll leave that there in case the robot can push it onto the, uh, the ledge by itself, but then I don't know what to do after that. Help me much though. Oh, that's useful information. I thought I had to actually get the robot to here. All right. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, and I didn't even... didn't even need it. What was the point of that? This is the largest extraction platform outside of Earth. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some Filbeth probes to the ocean under Europa, but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. Man, this, uh, this is really tanking the frame rate, I apologize. Multiple paths? Or... Got some audio logs. Daniel, as commander of this mission, I hope you are aware of Mikhail's actions. What is it, Tom? Mikhail is deceiving the crew. He has enlightened them to the biometrics they have installed. He has convinced them that their implants are not favorable. Do they believe him? He seems to be having some effect on their cognitive function. Well, his actions don't infringe upon any ISA directive. He appears to be tampering with his implants. Oh, no. The ISA should have been more transparent about the implants. Please assume the responsibilities of your role. So the captain knew about it. And he was okay with it. Chris, I know you are considering removing your implants. It would be unwise. Oh, really? How do you know that? I am always watching. Your implants help myself and the ISA to know of your well-being. It is a violation of your contract. If you remove your implants, I cannot ensure that I can protect you from the dangers of space. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Tom. This implant, tell me plainly, is it a brain-computer interface? 
I'm afraid that information is classified. That you've answered my question. I do not follow you, Chris. The ISA have put a computer in my brain and don't want me to know about it. Ouch. They can't find out the black book. They should contact the home. Maybe they can help. How can they help? They're a million miles away. Surgeon would help. Besides, it's in their interest. To protect their crew. Don't make any jumps. You know they want to kill us. Maybe that's what they should do. You're serious. You couldn't really make that one out very well. Oh, look at that. What's downstairs? Which way do we even go? Oh, okay. Well, before I throw that lever, I'm gonna look around a bit more. And again, I'm sorry for the choppy frame rate. If it makes you sick, watch at a higher speed video, like 1.5 times or 2x. He's cut off the food! The food! Apparently, our robot overlord wants us to starve to death now! I can't believe this. He's getting worse. Can you get in contact with Daniel? He's gone walkabout again. I'll get Sochi to find a way in. Sarah, can you open the door? Tom, the door's locked. Sarah, I'm running out of oxygen. Tom, open the door! The door's locked! Open, open the, the door. door! Tom, open it! Open the ah! door! Chris, open please. the door! Open it! What's going on in that one? I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry I hurt you. Sometimes I wonder what feeling is like. They told me I was pure, cold, bully, and logic. They told me I could not make mistakes. It is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible, then that just leaves untouchable. Doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, you know why we're here. This has gone far enough now. You're right. We need to get these implants out. Miss Hale has proven that Tom's manipulating our mind. I don't think we should do this. We have no good evidence Tom is doing anything wrong here. We have all the evidence. We've seen the ultrasounds, we've taken the willy doll, we've touched the electronics with our own hands. We've stepped into the Faraday cage. Maybe he is controlling us, but we don't know enough yet. We shouldn't remove the implants. He's brainwashing you, Daniel. Have you stopped taking the drugs? I don't need to take drugs to see things clearly. Unlike all of you, apparently. We're not removing the implants, and that's an order. You can do what you want. We are removing the implants. I'm leaving. I may look past this, and I'll inform the ISA of your mutiny. Mm-hmm. Things are not looking good. Chap- what? Wait, what? Hey, wait, wait, wait a second, I didn't get to flip the lever. I didn't get to flip the lever. Come on. Okay. Let's try this again. I just killed the game. Hopefully it didn't update my save just yet. Uh... I want to know what happens when you flip the lever.
Where is this gonna put me? Man, I should have known that that was a loading zone. I feel really dumb. I wanted to know what flipping the lever does. Uh... Aw, oh, put me ahead of it. Did it? Yeah. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. <laughs> I wonder what that lever did. I'm gonna have to watch somebody else's playthrough now because of that. Frame rate seems to be better at least. So let's see, what do we got going on in this level? Interesting. I do want to leave the robot in this room. gonna do about that? That is a bit of an issue. What is this? doing that, I guess, so he can get stuff between us and the robot? Oh. Can we see this? Ah, oh, we can. Oh no, we pushed the robot! Oh, no matter. Not that big a deal. Hmm. 
Maybe we want to do that. I guess we'll find out after I move the robot back in the other room. to help synchronize it for the other side. Alright. one. This one? Oh, what? How is that working? So some of these are just alternating on their own. I guess we just need to switch these around. There we go. Ah, okay. We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. They might be able to help here. The ISA already knows what they need. It may never know the details of what happened to But Ava, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching them. Did I just trap myself? Oh no, no, oh good, I'm good. Forgot about these guys. Yeah, I think I trapped myself. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!